Well, let's see if I can tell the story in chronological order. No, I don't think I can tell it that way. <laughs> I don't care how you tell it, just tell it before she gets back from Pixley. What'd you go to Pixley for? <laughs> oh, well, anyway, Molly was a very ugly child and grew up to be a horrible looking woman. The poor thing. Yeah, nobody would have anything to do with her. I mean, kids used to hide in their house when she walked by. People would draw the shades. Dogs would... No dogs liked her. She was shaped like a dog biscuit. <laughs> All right, you've made your point. She was very ugly. Yes, yeah, she was. Never had a boyfriend. Nobody'd take her out. Well, this one fella did take her out. It's my great-great-grandfather. Yeah, he got stuck with her on a blind date. She showed up with his stringy hair. Wrinkles? No teeth? Well, you got stuck with her, too? <laughs> no, I thought I saw her in the mirror when I was shaving. Oh, yeah. Molly's a great shaving watcher. <laughs> what finally happened to her? Well, nobody had talked to her. Nobody'd look at her. So finally, one day, she left town, and but she said she'd come back someday and haunt anybody who ever mentioned her name. What a sad story. She was uglied out of town. <laughs> yeah. That's why everybody's afraid to mention Molly Turgis. Uh -oh. You know who is back. <laughs> it's no use. I've got the keys. <laughs> <laughs> well, it could have been worse. <laughs> Should have seen the bill I got for the body work the last time. Oh, boy. That poor woman, everybody making fun of her. Nobody liked her except the dogs. Don't you worry about Molly. Only I could talk to her. Well, it's easy. You'll just mention her name when you're shaving. <laughs> Molly. Molly Turgis. Molly Turgis. <laughs> Hello there. I want to talk to you. You're not there. Oh, you're only there. Can you talk? Can you listen? I want to tell you how sorry I am the way they treated you here. Well, there is nothing to be sad about. You're only as ugly as you look. <laughs> when you were an ugly little child in 1822, they didn't have all these things to make you beautiful, like a wrinkle remover, skin younger upper, eyes prettier, hair unstringer. Of course, all this stuff belongs to my sister. Anyway, with this, I could show you how to be beautiful. Would you like that? <laughs> then you must promise me not to throw things at people anymore. Promise? All right. Let's go to work. You did what? I talked to her. I made her beautiful. Well, not beautiful, but... Not... Look, honey, I have had a peculiar day. Darling, I... she promised not to throw things at people anymore. But Molly Turgis! Molly Turgis. See? You tried. Molly Turgis? <laughs> you see, all it needed a few kind words and two jars of cold cream.